الله أكبر الله أكبر Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Mosque Architecture. Today we will discuss a monument of late Mughal period known as Ghaziuddin Khan Madarsa. In the last phase of Indo-Islamic architecture during the reign of Aurangzeb, a marvelous building complex was built at the outskirts of Shah Jahanabad in Delhi by one of his amir, Ghaziuddin Khan. This complex is well known as Ghaziuddin Khan Madarsa. Shahabuddin Khan who arrived in India in 1674 from Bukhara and became the Sadr Sadar of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb and was later raised to the position of Amir. On a successful campaign in Dakkan in 1683 as a commander in chief he received the title of Ghaziuddin Khan Bahadur. A building complex near Ajmer Gate in Delhi, popularly known as Madarsa Ghaziuddin, which contains a mosque, madarsa and tomb, is attributed to his name. Presently, this complex houses Anglo-Arabic Senior Secondary School. The complex is well preserved and is presumed to be the oldest continuing school in Delhi. Evidences regarding the period of construction of the complex and its attribution are quite contradictory. Some scholars claim it was constructed between 1674 and 1709. British sources presume that the madrasa was built in late 18th century by Ghaziuddin Khan II, the son of Ghaziuddin Khan I. It is possible that the construction of mosque and tomb might have been constructed by Ghaziuddin Khan first in his lifetime while Madarsa would have been constructed later on by his son. This assumption is also stylistically supported as the mosque is isolated from Madarsa, contrary to the earlier Mughal mosque and Madarsa complexes which were a unified structure. The overall layout of Madarsa evokes the Central Asian style. The complex has a large courtyard surrounded by a double-storied Madarsa on three sides, while there is a mosque and the tomb of Ghaziuddin on the western side. The main entrance portal with an outer facade of red sandstone lies at the center of the eastern wing of the complex. It is flanked by inclined entrances all leading to the domed atrium overlooking the central courtyard. The dome over this atrium is raised on squinches converging from a square to octagon and finally into a circuit. The eastern wing also showcases octagonal bastion at its corners. The courtyard is approachable from three entrances situated at the center of the eastern wing. The main entrance portal opens to the courtyard with a double height projected arch flanked by two projected balconies on upper story covered with bangla style roof. The double story madrasa complex surrounds the large courtyards from three sides and includes the eastern, southern and northern wings. All the center of each wing of madrasa is a protruded double height even and layout of madarsa evokes the Persian Ivan type arrangement. Each Ivan is flanked by a double story crenellated structure embellished by multi slope arches on both floors. On the western side, there is a mosque making a visual axis starting from the center of the entrance to madarsa and ending at the center of mihrab. The mosque complex has a prayer hall and a separate courtyard as a spill out space for Friday prayers, which is slightly raised than other buildings in the premise. The prayer hall is further raised 
two steps from the mosque courtyard. The central half dome entrance to the prayer hall is tall and emphasizes its verticality and hides the part of the dome behind. The triple dome prayer hall has a projected central high pishtak with cylinder turrets at its corners. The domes are raised on squinches and arc netting. Mehrab, semi-hexagonal in plan, is embellished by multi-lobed arc and four-centered arc. Central multi-lobed arch is larger than other arches embellished with white marble border. There is a small minaret at each corner of prayer hall surmounted by marble cupolas. The domes are having constricted neck and are surmounted by inverted lotus and finial. The central dome is too large in the comparison of the other two domes. The pishtak is flanked by three multi-lobed arches resting on rectangular pillars embellished with floral decoration and flutes. The overall structure is similar to Zenith in Nisa Mosque built by second daughter of Aurangzeb. However, the former does not have tall minarets. Some scholars compare the overall layout of campus with Khairul Manazil Mosque built during Akbar's period. Unlike Khairul Manazil, the mosque is isolated from the mother wing. On the south of the mosque, there is a roofless tomb of Ghaziuddin with marble screen walls showcasing detailed craftsmanship, which is further surrounded by carved sandstone jali with remarkable arabesque workmanship.